Heather Lockler is climbing the walls in rehab. Heather Lockler is climbing the walls in rehab and is bombarding boyfriend Christer with emotional phone calls, DailyMail.com can reveal. The troubled actress, 56, has been staying in a residential facility in California for the last month following her arrest on June 24 for attacking cops called to her luxury home after she downed a bottle of tequila and smashed her Porsche into a gatepost. Lockler spent the night in jail before being bailed out but was rushed to hospital less than six hours after being released due to a suspected drug overdose. After spending 14 days at the UCLA Medical Center in Los Angeles on a 5,250 psychiatric hold, the Melrose Place alumni was released and taken to a residential rehab center to dry out and get help. But sources close to Sir, 56, have told DailyMail.com that nothing has changed for the actress, who continues to call him three times a day, often screaming down the line from rehab. The friend said, he's just been annihilated with it, nothing's changed. It's just her calling him from rehab versus her house. She's climbing the walls in there. She's freaking out from not knowing what he's doing, going crazy in the place that she's at. Just going nuts. He has visited her but because she's got her phone, she's on him 24-7 screaming. All the things she was doing before. It's so unhealthy. She's just screaming at him, the same thing she did before. Nothing's changed. She's going to get out and do the same thing. To add insult to injury, Heather learned that the sprinkler system in her home went off accidentally, ruining tens of thousands of dollars worth of clothing and furniture. Although she can leave whenever she wants because her family didn't get the hold they wanted, she's staying in for now on the advice of her legal team. Heather and her boyfriend, who attended the same California high school, have had a troubled relationship, with Lockler arrested on February 25 after the two got into a drunken fight. On that occasion, a source at the Ventura Police Department told DailyMail.com at the time, a wasted Lockler had flown into a rage and practically bit the tip officer's nose. When police arrived at the address, an enraged Lockler became angrier still and punched a female deputy, while calling her a C. A search warrant prepared by Deputy Keith Hall adds that Lockler claimed the fight began when she lied to her, and she threw a can of Red Bull at him. Hall went on, she then told an officer that, sir, had strangled her and that she was afraid he would kill her. Lockler stated she did not lose consciousness but was strangled for a long time and thought she might pass out. Lockler was taken to hospital before being booked into the Ventura County Jail at 1 a.m. on a single count of felony domestic battery and four counts of misdemeanor battery on a peace officer. Sir was also booked in less than an hour later, for DUI after being picked up driving erratically by the California Highway Patrol. The domestic violence charge was later dropped but Lockler still faces trial on police battery charges, and was forced to miss a court date on August 9 due to being in rehab. She has also temporarily been banned from possessing firearms and her Thousand Oaks residence has been declared a hazard by Ventura County Emergency Services because of previous threats to shoot at cops. Sources told DailyMail.com that her fractious relationship with Sir is part of a pattern that Lockler appears unable to break. This has been going on for a long time, she's beaten up people in uniform, beat up her boyfriends. It goes towards mental illness, it goes towards drug abuse, the source said. All that stuff she's on, she takes everything. Adderall, Xanax and Boost. She's taking pills but she doesn't give a f dash she's got an anger issue. A source close to Heather told DailyMail.com that her loved ones are steering clear of her troubled relationship but noted that she has a history of difficult romances. The source said, she cold called, ex-boyfriend, Jack Wagner's house a couple of years ago. She terrorized, ex-husband, Richie, Sambora. Her aunt, ex-husband, Tommy, Lee, used to slug it out. Lockler was also arrested in 2012 following a drug and alcohol binge that led to a physical fight with Wagner as he attempted to return some of her possessions following their split. Although cops were called after she allegedly caught him with a right hook to the face, subsequent charges were dropped following a mediation session. Despite Lockler's behavior, 
Spencer's friend told DailyMail.com that the 56-year-old has no plans to break up with the troubled actress because he needs her. But the source warned, everything is going on business as normal with her. The only thing she can't get hold of in rehab is booze and she could check herself out any time. The only reason she's staying in there is because she's listening to her attorneys and they've told her it's what she needs to do to avoid jail time.